And welcome back. Certain holiday dishes only come around once a year. And it can be impossible to resist the temptation to eat, drink, and be merry. So holistic nutritionist Maria Vial is back to tell us how we can indulge without the guilt. And interesting enough, you said you like Roman candle pizza because you feel like they do it pretty good, like pretty healthy. The ingredients are sustainable. They're local. They don't put any additives in their crust, in their sauces. It's Amazing pizza. It is one of those pizzas, I tell people, you will not feel bloated after eating it. Really? You won't. It's so well made. Do they made. pay you to say that stuff? I promise you, I actually, <laughs> before I even met them, I had tried it and I was like, this is odd. I don't feel like sluggish. So well made and they have good gluten free options for those who can't. And beets now on a pizza. <laughs> and a I big, love beets. I do too. I'm and a big beet You know, man. one thing they mention is that they don't add sweeteners to mm -hmm. their flour, mm -hmm. which is great because sometimes you get a pizza and it's too yeah. sweet. sweet. And you're, you're actually talking a lot about sweeteners yeah. um, because you're trying to help us kind of stay away from that refined white sugar. Well, I think the holidays people go into it one of two ways. One, they're like, okay, here we go, ditching any of my health goals. And then they kind of do this overabundance of food. Or they are really restrictive, like I'm not going to have anything, you know, I'm trying to stick to my plan. And neither of them, in my opinion, is a really good way I to approach say, the holidays. If I had to guess, you'd be somewhere in the middle. You'd yeah. say have some of your favorite things, try to like remember your goals mm -hmm. and eating well, but enjoy some of those things. Yeah, it's one of those things, like if you're going to decide to have something good and, you know, enjoying pleasurable, healthy foods, you want to feel good about it. You don't want to feel guilty and you don't want to feel like, oh man, like I'm missing out and you're the person in the corner eating the carrot stick. Like, what fun <laughs> is that? Yeah. I like, um, I love when you do this. You do, you're sort of like, this is the bad version. Here are a couple easy, healthy swaps. It mm -hmm. still tastes delicious. So you can have your pie and eat it too, so to speak. <laughs> Let's start with eggs because this is a favorite holiday treat for a lot of people. What's wrong, generally speaking, with the regular eggnog? So it's again, it's the ingredients in these things. And eggnog typically is made with conventional eggs. So these are eggs that maybe had some antibiotic or steroid, and the, the chickens aren't necessarily living a happy life. Um, also, <laughs> hey, that's that's something a lot. You of want a happy chicken. You want a happy chicken. A happy right? chicken makes a happy egg. See, oh. There you go. And also the, the dairy. So you really want to kind of invest in organic in this, in this category. Okay. So, you know, you can do a couple of different things. If you're choosing to make it with milk you do and eggs, you do want to do organic for sure. You want, I'm a big fan of Yuppie Hill eggs. They're local. They're actually really reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also make a healthy spin and do an eggless nog. And so I have an eggless nog and a regular egg nog. So the eggless nog, this is made with almond milk. And it's made with almonds, pardon me, raw almonds, water, maple syrup as a sweetener because other eggnogs have refined sugar, yep. r really calorie and fat la loaded, um, cinnamon, nutmeg. There's also a little bit of vanilla in there. So Yum. Should we taste it? it? Yeah, great. please do. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and taste it and see what we think. Thank you. Okay. So this is the healthy one, right? Well, they're both uh, healthy, actually. This is just for those who kind of get a little bit weirded out with the egg oh, aspect so of creamy. eggnog. So the, the almonds give it that thick consistency. So you're not actually straining it. You're leaving the almonds in and you're putting it in a blender and getting it nice and smooth. Okay, it, I it like that. It does have a lot of, it's very creamy. It's, it's yeah. a real texture to it. So this is like a traditional eggnog. This is made with Thank you. Um, eggs. And this is also made, instead of with milk, I made it with regular almond milk that you can get at the store. So again, yep. sweetened with maple syrup, some vanilla. You're giving it a healthy twist, but you're not leaving out, you know, and the classic. Happy um, eggs in this from Happy Chickens. Happy right? eggs from Happy Chickens, and there's a little bit of Christmas merriment in that one. I was Ooh, going to say, like, I, I taste mean, a little, a little well, kick in there. Well, egg, you know, eggnog has a little bit of, you know, brandy or rum. So. <laughs> Do you we're see the way she delivers that with a little, She you know, waits till we're around. after, yeah. 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 after yeah. we've had some. Drink up, Sylvia. <laughs> okay, what's in this one? This is um, sort of like a, a twist on apple pie, right? Right. So who okay. doesn't love apple pie? But right. apple pie, you have the refined flours, you have shortening, you have refined sugar. And it really is something that, you know, it's, it's really empty calories. But mm -hmm. baked apples, this is such an easy recipe to make. What's in here? Um, so it's baked apples. So you take apples, you either core it or you slice them. Okay. And you put coconut oil. Oh. Good, raisins, looks. walnuts, cinnamon, and then you can also maybe Ooh. put in some sweeteners, so maple syrup or coconut palm sugar. You can eat this plain, mm. or you could put it in like a pecan crust. And I didn't bring the pecan crust here, but um, for people who uh, sign up for my newsletter, I'm going to send out the pecan crust recipe. This is really great. You can just pop all of this in the, in the crock pot, turn it on high for two hours, and then you have these wonderful baked apples that refrigerate well. 
And you're not missing out on the flavor that you're looking for when you're getting so when you're I like that you added pie. raisins for fiber yeah. and, and yeah. gives it a, a, a different taste and different right. texture in there, too. Because apple pie really doesn't have any fiber or protein. None. Right. It's got the fat and the sugar, but usually not the healthy form. So this has fiber, fat, healthy fat, protein, and a little bit of sweet. But that it's got is apples. delicious. Doesn't that yeah. count as a fruit? It does. Well, yeah. <laughs> If you have bit. many, Those many pieces. we make at the Christmas <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. I'm actually going to say that because I brought some steel-cut oats that oh, I haven't eaten yet. I'm perfect. Put that on top. Yes. All right, let's move on to shortbread because okay. you brought something here that's sort of a healthy swap. And we did run out of time, so go through yeah. it kind of quick. So this is a snickerdoodle shortbread. Ooh, okay. So these, Almost instead sorry. of being made oh, okay. with, like, shortening or um, flour, these are made with brown rice flour, almond flour, um, tapioca flour, coconut oil, vanilla, lots of cinnamon. So this is really great for those people in your life who might not be able to eat wheat or gluten. There's a lot of people out there right now, but they're not void of flavor. So they're nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. There's something that everybody, I made this for my family Christmas cookie exchange because I have to test it on people who are my biggest critics. Right. And it was really well received. They all really liked it. So it's a great recipe. Delicious. And it's, it's on your recipe. website. Mm -hmm. Talk about right now, you have the three-day holiday bounce back program. We're going to put it on the screen really yeah. quick. What is this about? It's a really great way for you to be able to handle the holidays and feel good about it. It's a three-day easy implemental plan that you can do in between all your social gatherings. So you're not feeling like it's party after party after party. And then by the end of January, you're feeling like you gain that the Yuletide weight gain, I call it. Um, and it gives a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a preview of like some of my other bigger courses, but it just helps people manage the holidays without feeling overly restrictive and overly indulgent. Well, it. these were great ideas. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're I welcome. love it. People can go to your website. It's mariavile.com and then slash bounce back to find out more about that three-day program. Always great to see you. Thank Good you so much.